Understanding hip flexor pain and how to fix it? Do you feel discomfort within the top of your thighs, have a sore lower back or feel higher leg muscle tightness? Hip flexor pain is a common complaint among physically active people, especially runners, footballers, and hockey. Pain occurs in the groin and can make daily activities, such as leg lifting, tied up, or down, more difficult. Also, people who sit for long periods are at high risk for developing narrow thigh muscles. Once the thigh muscles are stretched, one can experience pain in the lower back and hips, especially at this time, as a result of excessive use of technology such as mobile phones and laptops. What are the hip flexors? Hip flexors are a group of muscles that enable you to bend the waist forward at the hips and moving the legs toward the body. And they are attached to various points of the spine, pelvis, and femur. Overuse or overstretching of these muscles and tendons can result in injury and accompanying pain and reduced mobility. Symptoms of hip flexor. Symptoms of hip flexor pain vary from person to person and depend on the type and severity of the injury. Rarely, hip flexor wounds are diagnosed in a clinical setting. But there are common symptoms are the following. Pain with flexion of the hip or lifting up your leg. Continual severe discomfort in the front of the hip joint and in the upper leg area. Muscle cramps or hip or thigh contractions. The sudden feeling sharp pain in the hip or pelvis right after receiving a hard blow. Weakness in the front of the groin. Feeling tight or stiff in the front of the hip after sitting or lying. Inability to move normally without limping and kicking, jumping or sprinting. Hip Flexor Pain Treatment If you suspect hip fatigue, you can visit a doctor for a diagnosis, determine the severity of the injury, and steps to improve symptoms. But for minor hip flexor injuries, people do not usually visit their doctor but prefer to treat themselves from home. Here are some common treatment steps you can try it at home. 1. Take a break in the first 48 hours to relax your hip muscles. 2. Avoid stressful activities such as exercising, and physical activity that may increase your pain. Thus, you will be able to return to activity faster. 3. You can take over the counter pain relievers. It is very important to follow the instructions and not to use them for more than 10 days. 4. Apply an ice pack for 30 minutes every 3 to 4 hours on the affected area. Continue this treatment until the pain subsides. 5. To provide more support for your hips and thighs, you can wear a compression strap. 6. Start doing a workout gradually with your hip flexing muscles to improve your hip strength and flexibility. If the pain persists after 10 days, it is recommended to visit a doctor to discuss alternative treatments. Exercises at home. There are many people sitting in their offices for a long time. This leads to inactivity in thigh muscles, causing lower back pain, hip pain and tension. Warming up the muscles before starting the exercises can help to ensure they are ready to be stretched and will prevent further straining. Hip exercises facilitate strengthening the flexor thigh muscles and prevent injury. Most of the exercises are mostly done at home and are light exercises that are able to reduce stress and prevent any injury in the future. In addition to exercises that can be done at home, light swimming and sports are often useful for enhancing strength and preventing hip muscle pain.